Morning everyone, today is Monday, June 8th at 8.06 a.m. Gonna do a video watch list today. Uh, so for those that don't know, I do a free video watch list every single Monday on YouTube and I do a video watch list every day or every other day for the members inside MIC. Um, so one thing I wanna kinda go over before we start is uh, I lost money last Monday. I think I lost like three grand. Um, and that was because I was really excited to trade over the weekend. Um, I was really over eager, I was over anxious, um, and I was kind of pushing too many buttons and going a little bit too quick for my own liking. And I kind of screwed myself up. And then I ruined my mojo for the entire week. I think I had like a red day on Thursday as well. And then I didn't trade on Friday. So I screwed up Monday and that screwed up my entire week, right? So I'm trying to be a little bit more active today in trying to cure my Monday morning FOMO. Uh, and this, it's, it's crazy because this morning I woke up at 4 a.m., right? I woke up at 4 a.m. I was so excited to be here, 4 a.m. So as soon as I recognized that, I said, holy shit, slow down, slow down, slow down. If, if I'm waking up that early, that means that I'm already kind of screwed up in my mentality. So just kind of a quick note that if you have FOMO or if you're kind of struggling, don't worry. I'm struggling too. And I'm trying to take active steps like doing my dishes, doing my laundry, keep steps to keep me busy so that I'm not trading pre-market or I'm not getting in right when the bell rings. I want to stick to my process because that's what's been working. So that's my quick rant before we start. So SPCB, um, shit. SPCB, uh, we saw a death line here, uh, pre-market at 270 and it's kind of found some support at 250 so far. I mean, in a perfect world, what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for a pop towards called three bucks, right? And then you got 320s over here. And that's it. so I'm looking for a morning pop towards this, you know, 3, 320 area. You know, if it, if it pushes towards the death line and rejects again, which is 270, I'll take a starter there. Uh, but hopefully we get a little bit of a pop to put on some size. Again, death line broke, reject, reject, reject. So, LK, um, this stock was kind of uh, in action in play last week. 550 was kind of the line that it had to hold. Once it broke 550, it broke down rebounded and then failed and went lower. So I'm kind of surprised as to why this rebounded, but then again, stock was easy to borrow, right? And it is easy to borrow today. So that tells me that maybe some shorts are stuck here. Um, maybe they're gonna need to be exhausted a little bit. So what I'm looking for on this stock is, if you see previous highs were 670. So if this stock breaks above this 670 mark, it is no longer a short. It in turn turns into a long, right? Um, so what I'm looking for is, I see some resistance, 640s, call it 650, right? As you can see, 650 is here too. So those are the levels I'm looking to short with 30% size, right? Because it's on the way up, so I want to use 30% size. And then anything above that 670 mark, I want to be out. ENOB, I have no fucking clue what the hell is going on here. I don't care what's going on here. 5 to 19 on no volume. We're in a market where shit is flying from 2 to 20. So if it tanks to 12, I don't give a shit. If it ramps to 20, 25, I don't give a shit. All I know is that this does, stock doesn't make sense to me. It's not part of my niche. I don't want to short it. Stay away from it, from me. CHK, same shit. What the fuck is this, man? What is it, oil stock, energy stock? What am I, a commodities trader now? No, so fuck this. It's not, doesn't matter if it goes down to 20, doesn't matter if it goes down to 60. I don't have to trade every stock. I only trade the best stocks. VISL. So runner kind of tanked. Very clear kind of resistance around like 110-ish, right? And you got 120s. 120, and then I do like every dime about 130, 140, 150. So let's see if we get there. Hertz. All right, so let me use this chart on the bottom because um, that's a little bit easier to see. So what I did is I went to the day before and I saw where this top was here. I drew a line there. And then this top here drew a line and support I drew a line. So if you notice this line from the previous day worked perfectly, right? So in the morning I had my lines drawn, looking to short here, here, and towards $4 in the morning. If this support level breaks, right? If this support level breaks, I will look to short a pop back to 350. And that support fucking broke, great. GNUS, uh, I don't want to take this off radar. Um, just want to kind of keep this here. I think all pops are still short. Um, all the momentum is shot here. So hopefully we get a pop towards seven bucks in the morning. Too short. 
EGLY, last but not least, this pretty impressive move still holding uh, SSRs on today. I mean, what I see on the daily chart is I see like some, let me make it a little bit bigger. I see some resistance in the five area, right? One, two, three, three times around five, it failed. So if this pushes towards five, I think that'd be a great short, but honestly, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the easier setup here. So hopefully this stock pops towards 450, rejects down to four, bounces to 430, 440, and then I get a short from there. But not looking to find the top here, not looking to cherry pick the top here. Ideally, let it do its thing and I'll come for it. So uh, at the end of these videos, I do a secret word to make sure that everyone uh, kind of made it to the end, to make sure everyone watched. Uh, if you don't already know, we have our Jumpstart Accelerator program out now. Uh, the goal of this is to take someone that doesn't know anything about trading to place in their first trade in seven hours. Uh, so we have a promotion going on now that's going to end in a couple weeks. If you join MIC Annual this month, you will get the Accelerator course for free. Um, this expires July 1st. So after July 1st, if you join Annual, you will not get the course. You will have to pay a separate price of $14.97. So if you want to sign up, uh, just hit up Tosh or go to the myinvestingclub.com slash jumpstart website. Uh, and today's keyword is going to be jumpstart. So thanks, and I'll see you guys in the room.